Hello and welcome back. Now, before we proceed further in this section, let's go ahead and let's also add a loading indicator in our Angular application. And we will display this loading indicator by the time the data is getting fetched from the database. So for example, currently in our Angular application, when we click on this fetch task button, it is going to fetch the data from the database. And for the time it is going to fetch the data from the database, we want to show a loading indicator here. So if I refresh the page, you will notice that the data is not coming immediately. The data is coming after some time. So for that time, we want to display a loading indicator here in the UI. Let's see how we can do that. For that, I have already written some HTML. So first of all, I'm going to take this div from here and we are going to add it in our dashboard component.html. So inside this dashboard item container div, let's go ahead and let's add that div. Then in order to design this div, in order to make it a loading indicator, we also have some CSS written. So let me grab that CSS and let's go to dashboard component.css file. And there, let's go ahead and let's add it. Okay, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And now you'll notice that a loading indicator is being displayed here. Now, we don't want to display this loading indicator always. We only want to display it for the time being when the data is getting fetched from the database. So what we are going to do is, let me close this dashboard component.css and in the dashboard component.ts, so inside this dashboard component class, let's create one more property. Let's call it is loading. It is going to be a Boolean value. And initially, let's set it to false. Okay, and we will set this is loading to true for the time when the data is being loaded from the database. And we are going to use this is loading in order to either render or remove this div from the DOM. So here I'm going to use this ng if directive. And to this ng if directive, let's assign is loading. All right. Now let's again go back to our dashboard component.ts. So when we are going to click on this fetch task button, it is going to call this fetch task clicked method. And this fetch task click method internally, it is going to call fetch all task method. So this private method and inside this method, we are making a call to this get all task method of this service class from where we are going to make a get request. So before we are going to make a get request to the server before that, let's set this dot is loading to true. Okay. And after the data is completely fetched. So inside this callback function, let's set this dot is loading to false. Okay, now we know that this callback function will be executed once we have received the response. So once we have received the response, we don't want to display the loading indicator. So inside this callback function, we are setting this is loading to false. With this, if we save the changes, if we go back to the web page, you see initially it is not showing that loading indicator, but when we click on this fetch task button, again, if I click on this fetch task button, it is showing that loading indicator. Now, when the fetch task button is clicked, we only want to show the loading indicator. We don't want to show these items, these tasks in the UI. For that, let's again go back to VS Code. Let's go back to dashboard component.html. And it is this div which is displaying each task in the UI. Now on this div, we are already using a structural directive, this ng for structural directive. So we cannot use it here, but what I'll do is before this div, I will specify ng container. Okay. And let's move this div inside that ng container. So let's cut it from here and let's paste it inside this ng container. Okay. And on this ng container, now we are going to use ng if directive. And we want to display this content, this HTML in the UI, if is loading is false. So here, let's say is loading. If it is false, then only we want to display this HTML in the UI. Basically, we want to display all the tasks in the UI only if the data is not being loaded when this is loading is false. 
with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now when i click on this fetch task button you will see that that loading indicator is being displayed and once we have the tasks from the database the tasks are being displayed and the loading indicator is not being displayed okay if i click on this fetch task again you can see that the loading indicator is being displayed and after that once the response is available it is displaying all the tasks in the ui all right so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day